Hey everyone, Wanabot here and welcome to AutoForge. It is a side-scrolling automation sim slash factory builder that I played the demo of a couple months ago, rather loved, and it's out now on Steam. I was a little slow because I am a busy man. Uh, and I get distracted with board games. So we're just gonna dive in. Looks like my old world uh, did not carry over, so I've gotta start fresh, but that's fine. All right, now that's way better. Now I can see what I'm doing. Now I can click on stuff. I wonder if I can actually like zoom this game in a little bit. Oh, hey, I'm gonna kill the screen shake. I don't like screen shake, it's distracting. All right, so it looks like we're gonna be kind of zoomed out by necessity, but we are a robot that just kind of popped up in the middle or we we're de deactivated in the middle of this kind of relic shrine looking thing. Oh, well, we got some stuff I can do. So I can dig soil. We can harvest a little bit of rock. We've got a cursed log. A couple of mushrooms, some more logs. Yeah, we might as well just look around. And then we've got whatever this infinite darkness is that is probably going to be an issue. I'm pretty sure I don't want to go in there. Okay, so first and foremost, we might as well dig some of this iron ore for a moment. Craft a forge found under... Forge found under structures. Grab crafted forge from your inventory. Place the forge down. Okay, so we've got inventory tab, craft, research. All right, let's take a look at crafting materials, structures. So make a forge, make a chest. And we might as well make a couple of planks while we're here. Now let's see what else we got in this immediate area. Open ancient chest. Void matter, health canister, and some oil clot. Oh, that's how I picked that up again. Why? Put in the background? There we go. Not that it matters too much. Probably. But I'd still prefer to have kind of a neat and tidy base. Without too many of the walls missing. Kind of. Anyway, let's grab a little bit of everything. Looks like we've got a, a wood supply in the background too that I can grab. We're going to want to figure that out in a moment. I tried continuing where I had left off, but the uh, the game would not let me. But that's fine. I don't mind starting over, and who knows, I'll probably be able to go a little bit further, a little bit faster. Okay, grab the crafted forge from my inventory. I'm just going to put it down over here. I'll figure out other things in a moment, interact with it. So we can do biofuel as energy, biomass, inputs, uh, let's see, stone, iron, ore. And we can output some ore. Okay, so if I check this, where are we at? Basic extraction requires five iron, gets us a crank drill, and iron gears. So this is going to take a little moment, a uh, little bit. So why don't we go back over here and mine an amount of this iron ore for ourselves? Because we're going to want to be able to put a drill down so we can... Uh, two drills down, in fact. We want to put one here and then one on that wood vein. Which is weird to say, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, but we want to be able to have those harvest automatically as opposed to, you know, wait for me to slowly do it myself. Okay, did we finish? No, we're almost there. Oh, we also... Oh, V is combat. Interesting. Okay, so we're done with the research research queue, so let's get one crank drill. We're gonna need two cranks and some some level of plankage. Okay, there. The entire goal Oh, that's interesting. The way it's placed. It looks like the vein is just kind of one thing. But yeah, so the initial drills on this game, rather than being coal fueled or anything like that, it's crank based. Which I don't know how many of you have played games like Factorio or Satisfactory or so on and so forth. Uh, let's see if I do that. Yeah, you can actually see it's covering all of them. That's nice. So you can see exactly what it covers. But like, I love Factorio, I love Satisfactory, I love all of those games. I am shocked that crank-based uh, power has not really been an option in any of them. They always jump straight to coal power. And it's fine, it's not that big of a deal, but Let's see. We gotta check something else. So we can make torches, which actually might not be a bad idea. One wood yields two planks. So if I wanna have fuel, 
Let's see. Crafted batches, a right click. So a batch is five. Looks like planks burn better because one wood is worth what? 120? Two planks are worth 160 total. And then at some point we can refine them into biofuel, but clearly not yet. Let's just remember to re-crank him every once in a while. I don't know. It's it's just such a genius basic idea. And it immediately makes this game have, like, way more... I don't want to say personality, because I, I feel like that slightly does a disservice. Oops. Oh, wait, no. That's, that's what we want. It slightly does a disservice to other games and developers and whatnot, but the idea of... I don't know. Just how this works is, is so unique and original. Okay. So we might as well look at this. So we have intermediate extraction, gets us a combustion drill. We have automation, gets us the assembler, mana fiber, crank generator, power relay. We have foundations, which gets us scaffolding, ladders, and bricks. And we have basic transportation, which gets us transport tubes. Let's start with the foundations. Because we're going to need that. Uh, let's see. The other thing I should probably do is make a couple of torches. We can only make it... We can only make two. Before we need to go get some more oil cloths from somewhere. Uh, let's see. We seem to have plenty of fuel. Ah, but it has a limited amount of space. So collection range. I believe it'll pull from chests next to it. But I think it will also output them some uh, somewhere else. So are we done with this? No. We need... What do we need exactly? Oh, planks, probably. There it is. So we have ladders and scaffoldings. Let's start making some scaffoldings. I was hoping I could actually highlight one of those and just press 1 and add it to my quick bar. But it looks like I will have to wait. Uh, let's see. Oh, we are handcrafting a bunch of planks still. I think the only immediate problem I have with the uh, the cranks is they're a little loud. Um, I like the idea of hearing them go, you know, grinding in the background. Or maybe, maybe not the cranks, it's just the drills in general. Um, okay, let's put a wood chest here. Now, if I put the iron ore and, like, half the planks in here. Oh, I can change the collection range. It's not working. R to... Rotate the crank drill, drill to dispense into the forge. Wait, what? Oh. Many structures can dispense directly into the IC. So rotate it until the green dispense. Here, let's put that rock back. Wait, yeah. Put the rock back. I guess I could also cut some holes into some things. Uh... I think I'll leave that. Let's go over here. Oh, I have to pick the forge back up again. It's not like I just instantly have a forge. Okay, so this way it will, it will at least get the iron automatically, so we don't need to worry about it. I'll have to figure out how the collection range works and if I can do things with the chest. But it's fine. So rotate the forge so it outputs into a wooden chest, and bam. So this way we'll, we will have just automatic storage, and can kind of let that run. It looks like I'm going to need pipes if I want to do more than that. Unfortunately, it might be one of those where I have to pick the drill back up again, because it seems like this hasn't figured out that I've done it. Okay, there we go. Find an apotheosis emitter. Let's take a look. We've got a mainframe. Hi. 
Okay, grants the power of Apotheosis, boosting health by 4, harvesting power by 50% crafting speed. Okay. These seem really neat. I'm pretty sure I can't use them. Okay, and we also have Apotheosis. Ah, so this is it. This is the emitter. Okay, so what that has done is push back the weird darkness tremendously. So now I can do some more. So if I want to expand left, right, up, down, I have to get Mana Fiber, Void Matter, and so on and so forth. So, I guess in that vein, let's go on some adventures. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. We really have some heckin' collection range here. What I should probably do is pop some torches down so we're not just in complete darkness. Wow, I should have gotten some of these down like a while ago. There. So now I've got kind of a vague idea of our immediate environs. At some point I'm going to want to hook all this stuff up. But that can be later. Okay. At some point, I'm probably going to want to drill all of this until there's almost nothing left. It's all just going to be machinery. I know, there's something kind of dark about that. Oh, hello. Crankos. Oh no, did I fall asleep again? Thanks for waking me up, brother. Who knows how long I was out for? Ah, light. That's much better. If you're looking for the comms network, then you should explore the neighboring regions. Did you get the comms network online? Okay. I might have skipped some dialogue by giving him a torch. I just wanted to see what was going on. Okay, so we've got critters up there. I'm pretty sure these are resources of some variety. Ah, looks like it's another, it's another uh, wood vein, which we are going to need. It's not like we have infinite uh, resource veins, which like is a little bit of a shame. I'm a huge fan of uh, just setting res resource veins to infinite when I play uh, automation sims. Mostly just because I don't like having to move my entire factory around. It just feels eh to me. It makes sense because like scarcity forces you to actually do things, but I don't know. Some part of me is just kind of like, yeah, but what if I didn't have to worry about that and it was more purely about efficiency? It's very much a, a me complaint and nothing against this game. But it's always one of those where I hope to see these developers... Uh, explore nearby for an ancient tech. Well, I can check my map. Shame I can't zoom in more, but whatever. Okay. So that just needs that. Go back here, back to crafting. Just make a bunch of things for the moment. I should probably figure out where to get some torches. Because I'm not seeing any ancient tech yet, unless... It's not like this thing, is it? Oh no, that is absolutely it. Okay, so if we come back down to here... Okay, maybe I shouldn't have started with, a power, with empower. I mean, I think it's fine. Hover in the air, monsters drop more items when you kill them, slowly you re uh, recover health, interaction range, inventory space, roll behind enemies, find seeds in the wild more often, interaction range, projectile power, running speed, sword power, ore sparkles are unique per ore type, so that's going to be really helpful. Base harvesting power, personal crafting of ingots and other forge recipes. So some of these are actually like super, super freaking helpful. Let's get the, uh, let's get this going. A 
We might as well just kind of go down the list. We're going to need all of them in large quantities. So what's your issue? Just not a fire going in? Yeah. So I'll probably just have both of these go automatically for the time being rather than trying to futz around too much. Uh, let's see. So I guess let's go back up here, see what I can find. I'm going to need some oil for torches. So we might want to head to the surface. So I guess structures, let's make some ladders. Oh, I have a double jump. I don't think I processed that. I think I knew that too. The ladder is here. The one fear is that we're going to suddenly have neighbors. Or not. Okay. I mean, looks like I can at least get past the slugs fairly easily. And this seems like it's probably just more oil slick. I should mention as part of this that this uh, this game was made by the Korea developer. <coughs> so if you ever caught me play that game, well, caught me. If you ever saw me play that game, this will probably be kind of familiar to you. Oh, that's its spawner nest. I don't necessarily want to destroy these, though. Because I actually do need a supply of oil slick on the regular. Okay. Let's just ignore for the moment. They might come back, too. That is, like, one of the other potential options. That the nest might constantly regrow. But I have no way of knowing. Okay, I'll have to... I'll have to see what the seeds are good for. Combat feels better. I don't remember exactly what was quote unquote wrong with it the last time I played. Oh, that ladder climb. It, traversal actually feels really good in this. I, I usually shy away from platforming with WASD, but this one actually legitimately feels pretty good. Okay. So do I want to just inventory capacity by 10? Yeah. Come by, give this a crank every once in a while. Where are we at tech-wise? We're waiting for resources. We need mana. And iron ingots. So, we should be able to get plenty of iron ingots. At the very least. And yeah, I should probably set up uh, a tube network. Because if we can have that tube network built, we can start automatically moving some of these resources around. Still haven't found that communication state center. Whoops. Oh, so this is a mana deposit. I think this is something that I was actively looking for in my demo coverage and never quite found. That is quite big. I think actually the starting veins are just very small is part of the issue. I wouldn't exactly call it an issue, but an expectation that I should expect to have bigger and better veins at a later date. Uh, let's see, crafting. We might as well make one crank drill while we're here, but unfortunately for me, I'm also almost completely out of juice. So what do we got up here? Stone deposit. I don't know how much we actually need need for stone. It is interesting to have an automation factory builder uh, where you're a robot person, but mana is just a thing. I guess it makes sense. Like, it's not like Magitech does not exist in a lot of media. Uh, 
but it's not the primary resource I would have expected. Like, how wild would it be if, if Factorio suddenly turned around and said, yeah, we got wizards now. Same thing with uh, Satisfactory. Like, whole game would feel, would suddenly take on like a completely different vibe. Not a bad one, just a different one. Okay, so this is more iron ore. So what I might want to do is set up a completely different, like, clear out this area, but set up a completely different um, mining harvesting operation here. It's a little tighter because we've got wood, we've got iron, we've got stone, and we've got mana in pretty close proximity. The lower area really doesn't have much of anything. And so we should be probably manually or automatically harvesting a lot of this stuff in larger quantities than trying to make the uh, the lower area work. Okay, and it does not look like another nest has popped up. I don't think we desperately need more. I did take some damage previously. But yeah, I might as well hoard oil clots of it. Now, the other question I have is, do I want to just... Yeah, I'll just have one central elevator. If you've ever played Terraria, you know what I'm talking about. Because this is currently kind of a nothing zone. And so... Oh, it is really coming down out there. Just rainy today, but... It hasn't been particularly rainy, especially all winter. Uh, but it's kind of nice to just hear, you know, the rush of, of wind and rain in the background. Okay, so we've got heckin' ton of planks. So that should process faster. Still tons of iron. Where are we at? What do you need? Oh, the mana. You know what? I'm gonna nix that. Then we're gonna do these. Because one of these is a little bit more achievable. I just have to... Well, I mean... I just have to go get the mana from upstairs. And considering I've actually already got a crank drill, we maybe should just... set that up. And use it accordingly. Uh, let's see. A little slow. Yeah, let's just... Let's go do other things while we wait for that. What if those mushrooms regrow? They might. Okay, so we just need 10 mana. Oh, you know what? I'm a fresh fool. Actually, I'll probably do something like that. Yeah, why hand mine anything? Well, apart from somewhat the obvious. So, uh, what did you need? Iron ingots. Do we not have enough? I suppose I've burnt through all of them. Making ladders? Ladders? No, ladders just take planks. Did we really just burn through all of our iron? I'll finish the elevator first. There we go. Hopefully at some point we get express tubes as, you know, just a fun thing. There we go. Come by for another crank every once in a while. I like it. It's, it's nice that I don't have to worry about fueling these at the moment. Eventually we're going to probably want to bump ourselves up to combustion just because I don't have to babysit that quite as much. So discover an expansive wood deposit, iron, and stone. So we know where all that is. We just got to go back upstairs. Okay, there's the iron ore deposit. 
There we go. Okay, place the transport tube, collect items. I'll probably do something like that for now. And just, oh right. Can't do it. Something to that extent. I, I'm indifferent somewhat about the way I organize this. Oh, really? Ancient chest will not... I guess we should actually just dig to the outside. That is a massive amount of natural light. Uh... Yeah, so we need a structure that actually pulls from these. We can try just making a regular chest. Because what else do we have? We have a power relay. We have a crank generator. And we have an assembler. Let's try a regular chest. Okay, so regular chest takes it. Kind of like... I don't know how to destroy anything, so we might need need to just use it as a, a storage medium for the time being. Okay, let's just re re crank this for a moment. Yeah, I wonder if the crank generator actually is going to be kind of what I'm looking for. If that spreads power to everything nearby. Okay, that's that's doing fine. Uh, let's just crank that up. I'll probably just leave these running until they run out. Even if it does mean manually coming by every once in a while, I'll be like, okay, uh, what do I need to put in you? So, other thing I should do, seeing as we have a limited amount of space, let's actually put some things away. Like, ancient brick, not that helpful. Uh, what is this? Gum vine shoot. Yeah, the mushrooms might be useful for stuff. Voidling egg. Oh, it can be hatched into a monster stable, so I might be able to move critters around. Okay, so in that case, let's make a, another forge. Let's see, a splitter. We also have a bypass. Let's just do a bunch of transport tubes for the moment. That's iron. I should check how much, uh... Let's see. Check how much for scaffolding I have sitting around. Because my goal to some degree is to actually kind of link these up. Still don't know what to do with the, um... The mana, per se, but we're just going to leave it there until I actually need it. Okay. Snag a little bit of all of it. Yeah, we, we just want to clear this out a little bit. I wonder if I can actually overlay scaffolding on these. Let's put it here. Okay, so I have to manually mine them out, but I can just actually have a scaffolding block as my... Ooh, maybe I don't need that. Uh, but I can have a scaffolding block out so I can easily replace things. I think there was an upgrade that specifically increased my, my like, cursor radius. It would be, like, a 2x2. Two two. I think I might want to go for that. Just on a block-by-block -block basis, this is a little slow. Okay, so how are we doing this? The problem is actually what we need is the iron over here, or at least a functional workspace kind of near it. Well. I guess let's craft some scaffolding. The nice part is you can jump through scaffolding, so it 
gives me a little bit more leeway. Oh. And we had a little cave. Actually, that's going to save me some time, all things considered. Yeah, we're just we're just going to make a, a very basic automated uh, mining smelting setup up here. But hopefully we'll have a little bit more time. Or, well, not time. Uh, a little bit more output. All right, I'm under, literally under the weather. The, as nice as the rain is, I get kind of gnarly headaches uh, when it's raining pretty heavily. It, when the weather switches, it'll go from, like, nice to not so nice around here, and uh, sometimes that kicks my ass. Okay, no, we actually have we have a forge. Let's get the crank drill down first. Do two. Pipes into that into we need a chest. Well, start by just cranking these up. This one's out of energy. Luckily, all I have to do is interact with it to get it to roll. I'm going to need some planks, though. And we might as well bop back down here to keep this going every once in a while. How was I so slow the last time I played this? Like, I barely even touched the factory building. I must have just been clumsier. I don't know. I fr frequently kind of wonder that, going back to myself, and it's like, yeah... How much is my, like, adherence to going for a, a heavy first impressions build? No, it's not a build. But, you know, I never practice these games going into them, and I wonder sometimes if that's the right call. I think it's fine. Oh, yeah, that's plenty of mana. That'll solve, solve us some issues right quick. But I think it's also one of those that I don't think I'd change anything about my current style. I think if I were to change anything, I would change, uh, or I would have like a, another channel that exists purely so I can do like reviews, which I guess I do have another channel. So it's something I will probably consider at some point of putting some more time in, and effort into reviews. So a power generator that must be routinely repowered by hand. Okay, it requires fuel. Idle active, produces power. I'll have to get this down in a second. Because we also have the power relays. So I'll build a couple of those. Uh, other question. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay, so you've got plenty of planks now. Plenty of iron. Here's a question. If I put a treasure chest... Will treasure chest output? No. Our treasure chest will not output. idea uh, it's craft let's make a couple of splitters and then at some point I should look into making like a heck ton of planks but we'll get to that in a second because I think we want to do that automatically uh, let's just put this chest here so it actually can output give this a bunch of iron so it can work
Okay. So what I'm thinking is... We put some splitters down. And we get some forges down. Think this is enough space? I don't know. I might have to poke at it a little bit. Move my, can I move my inventory? Oh, blessed be. I think the UI was placed with the ex expectation that I only had a 10, 1080p monitor as opposed to a 4K. So, did we get the... We did, we did get the power relays. I really like this power system. That looks so nice. Okay. Seeing as we have kind of this lower area, I'll probably move it at some point, but I'm just gonna use it as a, um, as like the power room for now. Let's see, five, put that down. Okay, and we want the crank generator. Which I suppose... Okay, one, two, three. Something like that. Okay, number one question is... What is affected by the crank generator? The answer is... Literally none of these things. Okay, so we're gonna need a different type of... Generator. To actually fit these. So in that case, I guess let's get a couple more of these just so I can start getting together a bunch of lumber. Snag that. Because yeah, we'll probably... Well, I mean, I might as well go out of my way and turn this into one big... Uh, I guess I'm going to say plank factory more than anything else. This would come come by here for routine supply drops. Okay. Oh, they reset position. I hope that's something that actually gets rectified in the future. Let's see. Health canister, which I guess I should use at some point. So this is the one that needs the crank generator. Okay. I'm just going to leave the holes in the wall at this point. They're inevitable. I'll just wear them like a badge of honor or something. So, assemblers are what we're going to need. Okay, plan is, I think, let's just get another layer down here. I don't know how tall some of these are. Oh, this is assuredly too, too short. Okay, so rather than trying to do things on, like, twos, let's do things on fours. Fours until the game tells me not to. Because I think this one is three three tall. A four gives us just enough room. So one, two, three, four here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Put that away. 
Let's mine out all of this really quickly. Because I think what we're going to want to do is put the assembler down in this area. There's the music. I wonder if there's a way I can actually tell the music to keep playing. <sighs> Nuts. Because I actually rather like the music, even though I think there's only like one or two songs. Uh, but I want to be able to listen to it constantly as opposed to just like when it, when it feels like it. it. There's something about just being in a cave by myself, listening to the sounds of machinery that makes me... I don't want to say uncomfortable per se, but it's, it's a different ambiance than this. Okay, so we're going to get the assembler down. I'll put it here for the time being. If... Oh. Didn't quite didn't quite stick the landing on this one. Okay, so we were going to... One... Two. Here's the question. Okay, so... Unfortunately... Power modules take up space. I guess it doesn't really matter here. Okay, can it go further? No. So what I want you to do is just make planks. Because my logic is, if we have an auto plank manufac manufactory, uh, awkward. You know what? I don't like that. Let's pick this up. Oop. Not do that ever. Make some more scaffolding because we're gonna need it. I'll just put it on top of a scaffold. Keep it tidy this way. All right, there we go. So entire goal with this is to just automatically have a supply of planks being made at all times. I'll have to come by and give everything a crank. And hopefully at some point we can actually get it so that these are uh, powered by crank power as well. Wow, that's fast. Okay, let's, let's just have a second one of these running simultaneously. These are all out. But that's okay. We are on our way. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to take a smidge of a break. We'll come back to this and finish this off. I'm really digging this. I knew this was going to be something special, having played the demo a little while ago, and I'm glad to see that it's... Uh, well, it's come along nicely. I'm not actually sure how much has changed in the version that I'm currently playing compared to then. But it's one of those where it's like, I love factory automation games. And it's so nice to see inventive ideas and clever riffs on pre-existing ones. All right, now where was I? So we had, oh right, we now have the auto plank maker. It's not very fast, but it does look like, judging, judging by this, this is a one to two. You can even see output 30 per minute, output 6.6 .6 per minute. Okay, so actually... This could use... Well, if it's 30 per minute... Huh. It's only outputting one plank per log, though. Interesting. Oh, you know what? No, it does put out two. It's just one immediately is taken because of the output speed. Okay, so if it is outputting 30, we could have at least one more crank going on this one actively. 
So I should probably re-crank. And if I had infinite time, I would just stream the hell out of these. I... That is something I'm I'm coming to grips with always, like, literally right before this. I was like, yeah, I'm going to spend less time recording so I can work on other projects, like board games. Because I've gotten into board games recently, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I even walked into the board game store yesterday and just found Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, just sitting there for half off, and I'm like, don't mind if I do. It was pristine, too. Which, I don't know. I don't know how many of you guys uh, watching this watch board games, care about board games, but it's become kind of a, uh, a neat thing that I've, I've, I guess I've become obsessed, obsessed with in various ways and will likely try and figure out some way of being like, yes, this is, this is also some kind of game coverage I do. I think my main thing is it's just much slower, uh, trying to do board game coverage compared to like, you know, video game coverage. And so... No way I'm gonna be able to put that on this main channel without like severe um let's see. Move that over. Uh let's see. We are gonna need two more chests. We have one. Make one more. Oh no, I do I do actually have enough. Maybe severe is an extreme way of putting it. Uh extreme uh, drawbacks. I think it would just get buried. So how are we doing this? Because one option I do have is... Oh, this is actually capped out. Well, one option I do have is I could actually put a pipe, have this loop back. Oh, we don't, we don't actually have enough hand... Uh, hand drills putting out iron. I guess that makes sense. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to do an auto-fueled system yet. I think we just want to make do with what we have and get up to the point where we can have something based entirely on an electrical grid. Oh, that's craft. This is inventory. There we go. So it's probably overkill on all of this. Eh, I don't know. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to utilize all of it that quickly. But maybe... Maybe I do. Because we can always move this. Yeah, why don't we move the crank generator? It's gonna muck up power for this for like a hot second, but I'll just put it down here. Keep it in range. We're gonna need stuff like uh well, let me let me take a look. What can we what can we make? Because some of this stuff we're just gonna hand craft. But I think we should do some level of iron gearage. So why don't I make two assemblers? and work with it. Let's get over here too. At some point we're gonna run into, well, we're gonna need mana. And I'd rather, oh yeah, I only have four left. Well. Yeah, let's just crank some extra. And I might have to just go with a fueled version. What if I can actually do gardening? All right, let's figure it out. So what does this need? 20 cranks. And 20... 20 gear. I'll just make them myself for now. While we get everything else sorted. Because I think what I'm going to do... Four. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to put at least a couple of assemblers directly below. Uh, no, it's got to be here. Pull that up. Pipe down. Okay, and you're just going to be making gears. 
another one here. Nope, didn't work. Okay. So now, sloppy as it is, we are automatically making an amount of uh, iron gears, so I don't have to handcraft all of them. Looks like we're actually handcrafting perfectly fine for now. But I figure no matter what, it's going to be one of those that we just need endless amounts of all of them. Let's keep these going. We might want to look into better biofuel systems too. Oh, because yeah, I bet once we get into gardening, we can just grow our own fuel. And my resistance against combustion, uh, combustion probably dips off a little bit. Because if I can just endlessly grow it, it's less of a problem. Okay. Planks are looking good. Iron gears are looking good. Let's go back to this. Oh, we already got essence folding. So what else do we have? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to get mechanical essence, so let's not think about it. Refi- mm. Oh, essence folding is how we get these. So mana bullet, mana turret, repair tools, magical essence, biomass mana, mineral metal, matter refiner, and quartz. Okay, so I guess what we need to look into is the distillery and the folder. I'll see which I can make. Needs mana fiber, needs silver ingots. What do we need? Well, mana. And then I'm gonna have to go looking for silver, because it turns out... We don't have any. Because yeah, that's stone up there. I think in my original demo version of this... There was silver immediately, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. So I guess I'll have to go exploring. Well, let's uh let's leave some of this on automatic. Yeah, I was hoping I could almost have like one grand crank to rule them all. Or actually, you know what would have been a really cool tech? to kind of match all of this crank energy stuff if you had a giant spring and you could keep stacking more and more springs kind of in the same area, crank them all up and have the uh, sp springs slowly coming undone, um, apply that potential energy to uh, apply all of that potential energy to nearby structures. Woo. Huh. Okay, so. Bad news for me. Where's my stuff? Water wellspring. Unfortunately, I think this hurts me. The problem is I don't know where my stuff is. So we might have actually just lost a lot of stuff there. It looks like void matter doesn't go back though. I... I sincerely hope I get that stuff back. Okay, let's re-crank this. So what I'm gonna need is some torches. Plank and oil cloths. Oh, yeah. Guess let's go get the oil cloths. Hello, somebody's having a disco up here.
There we go. At least the combat system in this game is serviceable, but fine for what it is. The other problem is I'm going to need more ladders. What do I need for ladders? Oh, I can make a ton. Okay. Yeah, I was not expecting to fall into a deep, dark hole. When I started this project. Yeah, I wonder if my original stuff is lost. Because there would have been this giant thing. Because it's not that over there. Yeah. Oh. Unless it's... Oh, it's this. Well, that's convenient for me. I guess it, it specifically kind of kept track of where, where I had last been in a safe place. To account for the fact that I had fallen into a death pit functionally. So I think I'm still going to go back down there. I'm just not going to go into the death pit zone. Because I think that is the easiest and the safest method. Uh, let's, let's make some more scaffolding while we're here. We're going to need them anyway. I, that works. Okay. The one problem is I'm not seeing any resources over here. So maybe we go back up to the surface. At least for the moment. I guess the other thing I could do is actually see if I can expand my viable working area. Because I haven't looked into this too deeply. So this is perks. Yeah, maximum harvesting and building area by one. So that's void matter plank, void matter, void matter mana fiber. Mm. Not the most helpful. Maybe it's one of those that I just have to range out further. But if I check the map, uh, there's something there. Okay, this is actually much more useful than I thought it was going to be. I was originally kind of put off by how much you can zoom out, just because it felt very uh, excessive. But now I recognize this is actually kind of a boon. Because it makes finding some of these things really easy. Let's go back here. Here? Do we? No. Oh, there's a rock on top. Can't mine it out while there's a rock there. Fair enough. The other thing I haven't tested. Yeah. I should probably mine out the backgrounds as well. Okay, so this is sandstone. Hey, the tutorial really wants me to make a combustion drill. I've been kind of putting that off because it just seems like a hassle. It's probably worth it for the wood. My main thing is just I'm very limited on resources with no way to get more. Okay, what is... Okay, so this just gets a sand and soil. And so, like, a combustion drill will last a lot longer. 
but I'm not entirely sure if it's worth the resources right now or if I want to skip it and just go for something a little bit more long-term useful. Like, well, long-term, uh, more sustainable. Stuff like, uh, electricity, obviously. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's get to the other side of this, dude. Because there might be something useful there. If it lets me through. Yes. Wow, actually, this is very easy. And this is the silver ore. Okay, screw it. I was told to get a combustion drill, so it's got a bigger, much bigger AoE. Let's see, I need some planks. So let's just let that go for a while. Uh, yeah, like it's good. Okay, please stand a distiller and foldery. At least the tutorial seems to recognize that I've completed a lot of these objectives kind of without its prompting. What is this torch? Interesting. The torch was slowing me down. You know how I said I was going to destroy the entire, like, kind of nice-looking cave with my factory? We've already started this. It feels a little bad. I like games where you, you can almost, like, grow your factory in a, in a very organic sense. But I also recognize that, like, uh, yeah, some amount of this is just industrialization. I want to play a, um, a druid themed automation sandbox game. The closest I can think of is like Odd Sparks. And even that is kind of six of one, half a dozen the other. It's it's very machine based. You're just using wood golems. There we go. How are these doing? Poorly-ish. I wonder if I could have a system where I have wood endlessly looping through the same tubes at a slightly slower pace and then splitting off depending. We need filters to do it, but I, I could potentially put the fuel on the same line as the ore but it'll probably bottleneck in a bad way. That's the usual risk with this kind of system. Do I have any iron? No, I do not. Okay. Well, I've got more than enough planks to do kind of whatever I want here. Uh, let's, let's charge this generator. I wonder if you can actually hook up the whole thing and just, um... Oh, yeah, you could kind of. Uh, let's see. Grab the silver. Nope. Yeah, I'll put a chest down as number six. There. So, so this will just keep going for a while. Things we can also consider are like oil clots, which is... Oh. Yeah, so I'll, I'll have to look into refinements. But you can specifically refine oil, which, oddly enough in this game, is a renewable resource, because I'm pretty sure you can make a monster spawner farm and just infinitely harvest them using mana turrets. Uh, to get oil, which you can then automatically refine into uh, biofuel for even more power. It's a little hack, but, I mean, if it works, it's just very strange to be playing one of these games where oil is the renewable resource. Makes limited sense to me. I understand it, but it's like, mmm, weird.
Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of games. Or not games. Sorry. Uh, that's a lot of silver. My mind was wandering. I, part of my thing about talking about the board games earlier is that... Uh, I don't know. I just want to work on, like, weird projects. Things that I wouldn't have normally done. Uh, you know, five, ten years ago. And I want to start, like, wish, uh, working on these projects. So one of the things I've been, like, trying to do the logistics for is, like, if I were to do, like, a podcast as, like, rote as those are, some amount of it is just, like, yeah, I, I could actually see that working in my workflow, but, like, how would I do it? How often? How long? Who would I include? Would it be more interview style? Would, kind of like the interviews I was trying to do. Would it be more like me hanging out with kind of some friends and chatting? I, I don't know. But then also kind of the like, everybody already has a podcast. If I were to do one, what would set mine apart? And so like, that's been kind of stuck in my head a little bit more. And so every once in a while I'm just like, distracted by a thought of like, okay, let's talk logistics in the middle of a video. And so not only am I trying to play a game competently, or at least like passively, but I'm also trying to do commentary uh, while also letting my brain wander and like t think about its own dang things. Um, and like, boy, trying to split my attention between those three things simultaneously is not great. I, I realize this is maybe getting it's like somewhere between lost in the weeds and behind the curtains too much. Uh, but like doing commentary uh, for like a video or a stream long term is weird. Uh, I don't know how many of you have ever tried it. Uh, recently, I've had a number of videos that uh, people were mad at me for like some decision I made or not. And it's like you have no idea how like absolutely wonky it is to. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I was kind of poo-pooing the uh, fueled drills, but I think it's time. Let's get a couple of them. Because I can get, go get more oil. That's actually not a, not a problem. How do we make the mana fiber? Oh, you know what? It's probably an assembler. Okay, let's just give it the biomass for the time being. It's going to be a bit slower, but we don't need it at the moment. Uh, let's see. So let's have this do mana fibers somewhere else. Put it here. Well, do we actually want this to be one of the first things that I full automate so I just don't have to think about it? I feel like I'm going to need a lot of mana fibers for things. Kind of like planks and gears. Actually, in retrospect... Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I do keep things on on this weird twos layer. Uh, let's see. Can I make silver ingots? Craft site forge. Yeah. Eventually, I can hand make them. But yeah, it happened again. My brain brain was just like, but podcasts. I ugh, I don't know. I clearly need to solve some of these things. I I don't know how many of you were around back when I was streaming more. I'm assuming a fair number of people. It's not like my viewership has changed too dramatically over the last couple of years. Don't do that. Do not. It is a bad. There. Oop. I see. Okay. Uh, where was I going with this? 
Oh, right. Years ago, I used to have a lot of problems with people backseating me. I still do, but because I'm not streaming on Twitch anymore, it doesn't bug me. Because, you know, if it's YouTube comments, somebody's just like, I can't believe that you didn't put the platform down one tile higher to allow for more complicated machinery to fit between those, like, you know, stuff like that. Or like, hey, Wander, you should, you should have all of your machines... Uh, or your, like, platform layers be four high because eventually you're going to be dealing with, you know, the maximum size of a machine is that that size and it, stuff like that. And it's one of those where, like, yeah, I'm maybe being a little bit too uh, dismissive, dismissive of people trying to help me. But it was one of those where, you know, often backseating would drive me up the wall. I'm, play I'm the one playing the game. I don't really want to have, like, a small cacophony of people telling me, like, hey, by the way, this is what you should be doing. Because at that point, am I even playing the game anymore? Um, and so, like, I have to somewhat put some, uh, put my foot down every once in a while when it comes to these things to keep myself sane. Otherwise, I start losing it a little bit. You know, just try having a live audience for your, your entire, like, waking life for the most part. Not full Truman Show, but it's somewhere in there. Um, and so, like, it kept coming up as a topic over and over and over again, because every time I was playing these games, I'd have to explain, like, hey, this is unhealthy for me, and I don't appreciate it. Please stop. And somebody would get mad at me because I'm not gracious enough. Which, like, yeah, I think there is, there is, uh, something to be said in that manner. Let's just give it some more plant bricks. We could give it a bunch of those planks. Where we're very close to being able to automate a considerable portion of this. Without too much trouble. Let's see. There we go. charge this up but so it kept coming up as a topic over and over and over again until I made a video essay on my side channel uh, Wanderbot Prime for people that probably don't know okay right this has no fuel which is a bit of an issue I'll just give it that for now and you know what let's let's put a splitter down I think I have another splitter. I figure if I have a spare chest, it'll split between these two. We need the mana wire. That much is certain. But I, I figure... If I have a chest that is kind of collecting extra, one, I can just move it around myself. But to, uh, well, I can move it around myself if need needs be. I really like the inventory system. It seems to auto sort itself and I don't have to worry about like extraneous bonus stacks all over the place. Okay, so we need a distiller and we need a foldery. Well, let's just start making one and then we'll start making the other. It looks like we need silver ingots for one. So actually, that's both of them. But yeah, if we get both of these, these are rolling. we might be able to start distilling planks into better fuel. And at that point, we can switch up to the incendiary drills much more easily. Okay, let me take a look at this. So this just makes mechanical essence, so never mind on you. What about the foldery? Neither, in fact. Okay. Uh, 
fine. My splitter. So I'm just going to put another assembler here. Your job is to make also planks. I'll probably have to extend these in a bit. Okay, let's go over to you. Right. This is the one problem with the in uh, combustion drills is that they're a little bit more expensive. Wait, hold up. Which ones of these make... Oh, it's the refinement process. So we need this. We need mechanical essence. Okay, so select a recipe. So we need cranks and gears. Well, we have some. This might be one of those where I have to kind of manually do it. At least for a little while. I could set up an automation system, but I'm not even sure how much I need. Okay, so it's it's a one one to one situation here. Because it seems like it's probably worth automating this. When we get the chance. It's still going to take a little while to get rolling, but... Presumably once we get the ref uh, the matter refiner. Yeah, that, that gets us biomass. Needs 40 of this stuff. Well, I can... I'll just manually make the... Uh, make those. Back down here. This has been going just kind of automatically. Not for forever, but... Long enough that we have some... Oh, no, I have plenty of iron bars. Right, because I've been collecting them from the other chests. So what I can do is, even though the top one is scuffed and full, I can at least let this run automatically. Okay, I'll need another chest. So, I think at this point, I should probably... Probably close up. There's more I could do. But this is also one of those games that's going to be in development for a while. Uh, it is in early access, and I'm sure there's all sorts of, of things on this tech tree that haven't even been implemented yet. In fact, this actually seems pretty extensive. But, yeah, we're only getting up to the assembler, too. So, I'm assuming there's more in the works for what this game's going to be. Um, I know some people had responded when I mentioned that the developer, uh, had made Korea prior to this, and they were like, oh, Korea was abandoned, but, like, developers can't work on games for, like, one singular game for forever. I understand the, uh, the lasting desire for a... Ah, uh, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Rather than this... Well, actually, all things considered. Let's go back to you. Let's switch this recipe to crank. There we go. So that'll just output cranks. We'll have to bring the gear wheels over. Uh, but from my perspective, like I, I truly do not mind that Korea stopped where it did. Mostly just because uh, there's only so much you can do and, you know, after a while the money dries up and people aren't buying anymore. And, uh, you gotta pay rent somehow and developers, you know, I don't think it's fair for them to starve necessarily. And I got, like, a good couple dozen of uh, uh, a good uh, dozen, couple dozen hours worth of fun out of both. So that doesn't really bug me too much one way or another. Uh, and hopefully Autoforge gets to go even further. This absolutely does everything I hope or I like in automation sandbox games, different technologies to play around with, uh, a different perspective. I've only ever played one other side-scrolling automation sandbox, and this blows it out of the water, in my opinion. Well, I don't know. 
I... We'll have to see. The other one is the, uh, the one where you're feeding cosmic horrors. Uh, and, like, that actually could be kind of cool in its own way, too. But... Let's see. Are we not... Oh, do we need... Do we need to do... The folder? I bet we need the foldery. To actually do... Uh, do the research. So we'll just hook him up for the time being. I guess one other option I do have is to, in the meantime, slap everything together because I'm a trash man. There we go. like that didn't connect right. There it goes. So what is your issue? Mostly, actually, it's just not transferring enough. Ah, oh, it's fine. These will back up or something. And did you really max out? You did. Wow. Uh, that's gonna cause me some amount of issues, but whatever. We'll live for now. Anyway, uh, let's see. So just to finish up what I was going to say, I. Uh, Autoforge is available on Steam now for 20 bucks. It's a super solid automation sandbox game and one that I will probably come back to often over the no next couple of months, uh, just as it develops and see where it goes from here. Uh, just in terms of, uh, there's nothing quite like it, even though, yes, there are so many automation sandbox games out there. And I want to see where this goes, but I guess with all of that said, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.